Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Jim Crane, and today we're going to look at a product from Nutsack. You might know Nutsack from their canvas and leather combination bags, which have quite a following out there among messenger bag users. Recently, though, they have started making a full leather version of their very popular bags. This is the Jones 13, made with Nutsack's Madrone leather. This leather is tanned in the USA, and the bags are built here as well. This is a full grain veg tanned leather that is the perfect thickness for the size of this bag. It's about four to five ounce leather. The surface of the leather is really very nice with very few if any blemishes. You know, I like to see range marks on my bags, but I know a lot of you out there love to have your bags blemish free, and this is the bag for you. Okay. The leather has been treated with oils and waxes, which you can feel as you rub the leather. It's got a very, very low sheen and a nice smooth texture to it. Um, it will develop a patina. Um, this particular kind of leather, when it has um, oils and waxes that are infused into it, it makes it um, pretty much weatherproof, but also um, this kind of leather has kind of a self-healing surface to it. Um, unlike some leathers that don't have all those oils and emollients kind of stuffed into the leather, if you get a scratch on this, a lot of times you can just rub it out if it's not a really deep scratch because your fingers will redistribute the oils through the surface of the leather and you can rub out a lot of those marks. For me though, I would just mark this bag up and just let it start showing its age. I just love that on a leather bag. Okay, so um, let's go through the features of the bag. First of all, the dimensions. It is 13 inches wide, it's nine and a half inches tall, and it's three inches deep. And the bag weighs just over two pounds. They do make this bag in a 15 inch wide version, and the difference is um, the addition of an internal laptop sleeve. Okay, so let's look at the features of this particular, the 13 inch bag. It does have a, an inch and a half wide shoulder strap that is made from this very heavy duty webbing. And um, there's very little give to it or stretch. So um, it's one of those really high quality uh, materials that will really last forever. It is adjustable and we have two um, sliders. So there's a slider on, the, uh, on both sides of the strap you can just use one if you want to or use both if you need to. When I carry a bag that has an adjustable shoulder strap, usually it has a slider or a buckle. And since I'm right-handed, I carry the bags over my right shoulder. I usually put the slider or buckle on the shoulder strap that's facing the front of the bag um, because I just think it has a nicer kind of uh, look to it. But with this bag, whether you're right or left shouldered, it doesn't matter because you have two sliders. You don't have to think about it when you attach your shoulder strap. You just stick it on there. It does have a padded shoulder pad and there's the logo right there. The other logo on the bag is right here and there's no letters in the logo, so which is nice. I know a lot of you out there can't stand to have logos on your bags um, and you will accept them if there is no writing or letters um, because it just looks like a little looks like a little nut there, like a little acorn. Um, so um, very nice touch. Um, there is a logo sewn on the inside, I'll show you that, which actually has Nutsack's name written out. Um, but the shoulder strap, it's got a, um, a little padding to it, and the underside is this grippy uh, textured no-slip material, so it will kind of hold on to your shoulder. So when you're bending over to pick something up off the ground or something, the bag's not gonna slip down your shoulder to your wrist and hit the, hit the concrete. So that's a nice touch. There are two leather sliders or keepers um, that you can slide up to um, cinch, the, cinch the strap down. And those are made from a nice, nice veg tan leather. And the hardware is this um, anodized or kind of uh, aged solid brass. This is a lobster claw. Um, very nice heavy-duty hardware. We've got a nice heavy-duty D-ring here that's also got that antique look to it. And it's not only stitched in here, but it does have a rivet as a backup um, 
so the uh, this will never pull out. That's there forever. Okay? And the rivet is even antiqued like that. So that's a nice touch. Okay? So as far as we go, let's look at the back of the bag. Let me just reattach that little guy so I don't lose track of it. The back of the bag has a nice full length pocket, which is really quite nice. You can see those beautiful marks in the leather. If there was more of this in the leather, I would, I would really love that. But um, you can see it's a natural leather um, and you can see it's got some pull up to it. So as my fingers rub across it, I'm, I'm pushing the oils and stuff away from the surface of the leather so it gets that kind of lighter look but you can rub those out as well, okay? So the uh, edge here of the pocket is a folded edge. So it's folded in and then sewn back on itself with this very, very high quality stitch line. The stitch is absolutely perfect. And then the interior of the pocket is lined with this khaki canvas, which is a very tightly woven canvas, so it has a nice smooth feel to it. Um, so I love a pocket in my bags because I love to carry my phone there, or I'll carry the outgoing mail in there as well. Um, anything I need to grab you know, right away, I like to have in that pocket. The carry handle or grab handle is a folded piece of leather. The edge is dressed here, so they took the time to for that detail. And then it's sewn, and then the side that your fingers are going to wrap around is the folded side. And it's got a very substantial feel to it. Um, I've got this bag loaded down, and it just feels like it's not going to ever tear out. It just feels really quite substantial. So let's go around and get into the front of the bag. Okay, so we've got a strap and stud closure with a keeper here, leather keeper. So stud, of course, is never going to wear out. There's no moving parts. We've got this nice Latigo leather. Maybe it's a bridal leather. Um, very low... Um, on the suede side, very low, um, kind of raggy feeling. It's, it's very smooth, and the edge of the strap is dressed as well, as you can see there. So those kind of details to me really count. They really uh, show me that the, the maker of the bag takes a lot of pride in their bag, instead of just having a raw cut edge to, to save a buck. So it is uh, very secured there with quite a bit of uh, stitching there. The edge of the storm flap here is also got a nice, beautiful, perfect stitch line. And underneath the flap, it's got this, um, again, this khaki canvas um, underneath it. And the interior of the bag is also outfitted with this um, khaki canvas as well. Um, and the nice thing about that, when you're looking inside of a a top load bag. If the interior of the bag is lighter than the color of the leather, it's easier to look down in your bag and see what you've got in there. Um, again, this is just a really beautiful, smooth hand to it. It's got a beautiful, nice aroma and um, a nice feel. The bag doesn't feel oily, but I know it's got some oils and waxes in it. Um, and that gives you that um, weather protection as well as You'll have a nice, even patina that develops on the bag over time, um, which is really quite beautiful. So this bag is going to age beautifully as you, as you put your life into it. Okay, so under the flap, we've got a full-length um, front pocket, a zippered pocket with its own storm flap. So that will keep water from penetrating into the contents of that front pocket if you are out in a blizzard or a caught in a downpour. Um, so that's a really nice touch. And this leather is, again, folded and then stitched right there. So we don't have any raw edges anywhere on the bag, either on the interior or the exterior. There is a YKK zipper with this nice little leather pull on it. So we'll pull that open. And the, the depth of the pocket is from here to here. So it doesn't go back up in here. So it's big enough to carry a pretty good sized book. So if you're going to, you know, travel and you need, you have your little tour book with you, or if you wanted to put the, your cell phone in here or the mail, outgoing mail or whatever, um, you've got, it's 13 inches by about um, seven inches uh, deep. 
Okay, so there's your front pocket. And you get into the bag, there are dual zippers. And the nice thing about dual zippers is, um, I know some people like to carry them like this because they're a little slightly OCD and everything has to kind of be in balance. Um, the bags that I have that have dual zippers, I always put one zipper all the way to the end and I just use one. And if anything were to happen to this zipper, I have one in reserve, okay? So we'll open this up and um, show you what it can hold. Here is a really very large, uh, thick veg tan leather uh, folder in here. And that's a good size. And then I've got a, um, a really big book in here as well. So this is about the size, kind of the maximum size um, of, a, of a book or a laptop that you can fit into the bag. Um, and be able to retrieve it um, without any effort. So this book is um, nine inches by, what is it, 12 inches. Okay, so if you have a laptop that size, um, I know my, um, my big uh, iPad, which I'm filming with right now, um, slips right in, um, and it's the, the big 12, I think it's a 12 and a half inch, um, but it slips right in, no problem. So um, this nice big size book that's going to fit in there, um, or if you have other stuff you need to put in there. There is a full length zipper pocket on the back, and it's a canvas, and it, the canvas is a nice weight to it. It's not like um, material that your shirts are made out of. It's got a nice um, heavy weight to it, so um, it's got a nice uh, a durable feel to it. Again, it's this uh, khaki canvas, so it's easier to look into your bag and see what you have in there instead of being, um, you know, the dark leather or unlined interior, which you really have to be out in the sunlight to kind of look to see what's in the bottom of the bag. The um, front of the bag has these two big pockets, and these pockets are half the size of the bag. So you got a big pocket and a big pocket, so it'll hold really big items. So this is a big field notes big leather field notes from Artie Shell, Mascon leather. And then the other pocket I have is gigantic uh, Chunky Charlie. This is a gigantic wallet and it slips in there no problem. So if you like to carry, you know, a big wallet with you or um, a, a small paperback book or whatever, um, you've got two great big pockets um, that you can carry those in, okay? There is a um, key keeper here as well with a little nut sack or a little nut logo on the on the snap there which is kind of a nice feature and then here is their logo made in the USA the edges of the interior all of the edges are dressed like this so they have this nice um, finish to them this nice um, tape uh, it's kind of a uh, like a seam tape that's that's sewn in beautifully, so you don't have any of the raw leather edges that are showing on the interior of the bag. And of course, there are none on the exterior of the bag. So a lot of space in there, you can carry a lot of cargo. And the 15 inch version, your laptop sleeve would be on the back of the bag here. You'd still have the zippered um, compartment, but it would be on the outside of the uh, laptop sleeve, okay? That's the only difference as well as the difference in width between the two bags, okay? So let's close this up and I will use the primary zipper and we'll leave this one in reserve for some future time if we ever need it. Okay, so stud closure, so easy to use. It's a one-handed thing. You don't have to uh, unbuckle or buckle. Um, so a beautiful, beautiful bag. Um, just a one-piece gusset, so um, that's the sign of a high quality bag. The fewer pieces of leather that go into it, the, the, the stronger the bag is. So this is the Nutsack Jones 13, comes in the Jones 15, the full leather version of their very popular canvas and leather combination bags. Um, so I'd highly recommend it if you're, uh, if you're one of those people who like a beautiful finished here leather that is virtually blemish free. Um, but you do like it to patina over time. Um, and it, it has a lifetime guarantee with it as well. So 
Um, you buy it once and you keep it forever. So thanks for watching everybody. We will see you again with another review real soon. Bye-bye.